This is the Simulation Football League on the SFL Twitch Network. It was a shootout in Duval in Week 7, where the Vancouver Legion took home the W. Now the Jacksonville Kings want their revenge here in a pivotal Week 11 rematch. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Falk. We are live here in Canada Field, where we, are, we will see the best passing offense in the league. In the Legion, led by Tom Pepper, go up against the second best team in takeaways, led by Succolomano. Joining me here in the booth, making his SFL commentary debut, is Aaron Alexander. Aaron, welcome aboard. It is great to have you here. Appreciate it, Tyler. Good to be here. And as you mentioned, very pivotal matchup for both of these teams moving forward into the beginning of playoffs. Uh, both of them looking, of course, to uh, clinch their spot in division uh, and in playoffs as a whole and potentially move up. Uh, Vancouver, of course, as you mentioned, one of the best passing offenses in the league going against Jacksonville and one of the best uh, overall defenses led by uh, Sufi Lomano, who's currently at 13 interceptions uh, this season, which is a first in the league uh, and is approaching that single season record for interceptions. Definitely on a tear. Last time these two teams met here, Aaron, Tom Pepper threw for over 400 yards, three touchdowns and no picks, something that Jacksonville will have to rekindle the flame. Yeah, Vancouver's going to look for a, a similar game out of him as we uh, move forward into the kickoff for this game. And so the Vancouver Legion are in the Vancouver Canuck colors in blue and green. They'll kick it off here today to get this one started here in week 11. As here we go, we have kickoff north of the border. Turn started very short, about the 15 yard line. That one's taken to about the 32 yard line. And that is where we will see Christian Christensen, the eight season vet, come on the field and lead the offense for Jacksonville. Yep, Jacksonville's going to look for uh, Christensen to lead this offense with the consistency he's shown throughout the season. Currently leads in overall pass completions and is second in attempts and completion percentage. Jacksonville looking very sharp in all white, including the helmets pass over the middle. That one's going to be deflected away by Josh Farnsey, the rookie, as we'll take a look at the Jacksonville offensive lineup. Christian Christensen is the man under center with Jared Willis, the halfback, and then Iggy Swift, the fullback. Grayson Willis, Mike St. Green, and Ken Gossett are the wide receivers with Jack Wall at the tight end spot. Yeah, Christensen with uh, two pretty key targets in Willis and Gossett here. We're probably going to look to pass to them primarily this game. Christensen back to pass here on second down. This one is caught by Jared Willis. He's going to round the corner and get to about maybe the 35 for a gain of three. Yep, good drop pass there from Christensen. Uh, Jared Willis, of course, showing why he's the uh, number two reception leader in the league as of current. It's already a very quick third down. It's third and seven now for the Kings. Three wide and two backs in the backfield as Christensen steps back in the pocket, fires it over the middle to a wide open receiver for plenty of yards to get the first down. They're down to the 47, hauled in there by Ken Gossett. Another one of those key pieces I mentioned and Ken Gossett there, uh, currently third most targeted receiver in the league. Very nice conversion there on third down. We'll set up a new set of downs here for the Kings. As they'll come out with two wide receivers to the right and offset Jared Willis to the left of Christian Christensen. Quick drop, another quick dump off there for Willis on the far side. Rounds the corner, picks up maybe one before being tackled out of bounds by the Vancouver defense. And let's go ahead and meet the Legion defense led by Gerald Giudicesi, Achilles Papatonis, and Mike Coverson. At the defensive line, they man the trenches with Josh Farnsey and Kevin Brackett at the linebacking spots. Kyler Murray, Ashley Rose Finch, and Dean Max are the corners with major key. Mark Lopez and Nate Hall at the safety spots as Christensen passes to the near side to Gossett. That one's hauled in a nice little out route, but he's tackled immediately, and it's third and four. These short, consistent passes on Jacksonville's part is, I think, going to be one of their big keys to look out for here this game. Uh, as far as what's going to lead them to victory. Six play of the drive and second, third down upcoming for Jacksonville. They converted last time. We'll see if they can convert another one here. 
It'll be a handoff up the middle, first running play for the Kings, and it's going to be short of the first down, so the Vancouver Legion hold them there, and that'll bring on the punting unit. Yep, it was a big stop there by Vancouver's defense. Uh, props to Jacksonville for trying to throw the defense off, but uh, that D-line of the Legion was just too ready for that run. We'll see Howard McCoy on to punt it away. Gets a high snap, but he's able to corral it and send it on its way to the near side. Try to angle it. Drops the 10. Takes a Vancouver bounce toward the end zone and indeed will roll into the end zone for a touchback. And so we'll see Tom Pepper come on the field here and lead the Vancouver, Vancouver Legion out for their first possession. Yep. Uh, Tom Pepper, of course, uh, just on an absolute tear this season. Sorry. Uh, currently sitting first in the league in yardage and touchdowns, as well as overall QBR. Uh, so, of course, Vancouver, again, going to want to see a big game out of him. I formation here for the Legion here on first down. Pepper takes a deep drop and will fire deep down the middle to a wide open receiver at the midfield stripe. And it's Brett Killian who quickly takes Vancouver on the opposite side of the 50. Yep, Vancouver, of course... Uh, proving that the deep ball is definitely the name of their game here. Uh, Brett Killian on that reception. Uh, overall ninth in total yardage. Uh, looking forward to him having a, a potentially a big game here for Vancouver as well. The number one team, the Legion are, in passing yards and total yards per game. Hand off up the middle for Robert Redford. And Redford... Fights his way forward, and then I'll pick up the second first down in as many plays. So definitely moving forward with a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. That's the the one thing about Vancouver, though. They have a very good pass game, but their run game's not in the sneeze at either. Uh, Robert Redford currently fourth overall in terms of total yards uh, on the ground and averaging roughly 5.6 per carry. Third play of the drive. Can they go three for three? And pick up another first down. Pepper in the gun with Redford to his left. Two tight ends and two wide receivers split off to the left. Play action to Redford. Pepper throws it down the far side. That one is hauled in. And it's three plays, three first downs, and they're set up with first and goal. I don't know what's going on with Jacksonville's defense right now. I don't know if there's some miscommunication going on, but uh, that was Kendra Hall there that was absolutely wide open downfield. The co-host of Netma showing up big already and just a whole lot of playmakers on this Legion offense, on this entire team rather. And we'll see what they can do here. First and goal from the seven. Pepper back to pass. Pumps once. is going to dump it off to Redford on the near side. And for the first time, a play doesn't go for a first down and it's incomplete to Redford. Yeah, Pepper, I think, was feeling a bit of pressure there from Jacksonville's uh, defense. Just chose to throw that a bit short, not risk the sack there. So after Pepper's first incompletion, it brings up another second and goal. Three wide outs, one tight end in the package with Robert Redford directly behind Tom Pepper. Pepper back to pass again. It's a deep drop. Fires to the back of the end zone. Deflected and nearly picked off. That was maybe misguided as we'll quickly take a look at the Vancouver Legion offense led by Tom Pepper at quarterback, Robert Redford at halfback. Fred Killian, Kendra Hall, and Andy Hamilton make up the wideouts with James Walters, Dan Daly at tight end. And they have a pretty good offensive line led by Michael Prococo at guard and Mike Newtones at tackle. Third down now for the Legion they spread the field with four wide receivers. Whipped up over the middle. That one's hauled in right at the goal line, but he's stopped just shy at the one-yard line. Unable to punch it in was Kyle Collins, and it looks like they're going to bring on the field goal unit here, Aaron. Yep, definitely, I think, the right call this early on in the game. Uh, well, I guess one could make the argument to try and force the uh, – Force a run up the middle, I think, going for the three here is definitely the best play with a drive like that that Vancouver just put together. Well, here comes Ramon Rakowski on to put Vancouver up to start off this football game. Snap spot. Kick is up, and it is through. And Vancouver quickly jump out and take a 3 nothing lead. 
Yeah, Vancouver, this this drive absolutely punished Jacksonville with the deep ball. Uh, two different passes going for, you know, over 10 yards, uh, even 20 yards. So Jacksonville definitely needs to try and reel in Vancouver's uh, offense here. As Rakowski will get this game going again with his kickoff, and it's Mike Satan Green who gets the call here to get the return. He takes it back up to the 31-yard line, and here comes the Jacksonville offense on to start another drive here, Aaron. You know, seven plays all told last time, unable to get any points, had to punt it away. Yep, definitely uh, showed some, showed some, you know, some flashes of consistency, uh, but Vancouver's defense, I think, was just a bit too prepared uh, as of current for Jacksonville's game plan. Quick drop here from Christensen. Dumps it out near side, and that one's deflected away by Kyler Murray, and it'll bring up second down. That was a big read by Kyler there to just jump in front of uh, Mike St. Green and get that big pass deflection. Second and 10 here for Jacksonville on their own 31. Two wideouts near side, two tight ends the far side. And Vancouver stacks a box with eight men in the box. Another quick drop here from Christensen. will fire it out to Willis there on the swing route. And Vancouver read that one pretty well, stopping it for no gain. And it's third and ten. Two plays going nowhere. And now you need ten yards here, Aaron. Yeah, Van Vancouver just seems to have Jacksonville's uh, game plan completely figured out at this point. Uh, they definitely need to find some way to switch it up or, or at least some way to, to kind of stifle uh, Vancouver's defense. Another quick drop here from Christian. Tries to go down the far side. That one is incomplete. And what a hit there by Arf, Arf, Arf. Ashley Rose Finch hit the receiver as the ball was coming to him. No, no penalty. And it's a quick three and out for the Kings. Yeah, I'll admit that was a very questionable pass from Christian Christensen being that uh, that receiver was in double coverage there. Uh, and that's what's going to force this three and out. So we'll see McCoy on for his second punt of the ball game. Once away, the return man sends it about his 30-yard line, sneaks away from one, gets it up to 35, and that's all he will get on his return as we'll see the Legion offense come back out on the field and each of the two long passing plays that Tom Pepper had went for 31 yards apiece. So definitely off on the right foot or the Legion offense, Aaron. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like I said, they're they're looking at Tom for his uh, his veteran leadership this drive uh, and the last drive as well. And it's definitely paying off for them. Coverage backs off here on first down. Pepper tries to get away, and he's level in the backfield. Taken down for a loss of six on the sack. It's Hunter Norwood. Yeah, it was... Uh... So poor blocking there from Vancouver's offensive line. And uh, Hunter Norwood just plowed through and got that big sack for a six-yard loss. You cannot let that man go, as that'll be Hunter Norwood's 97th and a half sack of his career. As Robert Redford gets the call here to try and pick up lost ground, he'll pick up one, and it's third and 15 upcoming for the Legion. Yep, Jacksonville's defense starting to starting to get some pieces together uh, and try and keep this high octane Vancouver offense under control. Trips near side of the formation here on third and long. Five step drops just to be a quick dump off here for Redford on the near side. Has a little bit of room to run, but not much as he's taken down after a gain of six. And both teams will trade three and outs. Yep, it was, a, it was a good call there from Vancouver. Uh, it would have probably been a bit better if they were, you know, a bit closer to the first down marker. Uh, but Jacksonville's defense stepping up big here, forcing uh, their first three and out of this game. So on to punt this one away for the first time here today will be Brian Patrick.
Bunts it away to Mike St. Green, who's waiting at about his 30-yard line. He takes it, probably gains about two before he is taken down. If you're new to the SFL, the Simulation Football League combines traditional sports, esports, and a role-playing game into one. Team strategies are being executed in real time by our simulations as real-life players compete on the virtual gridiron. For more information about the SFL, visit our website at www.simulationfl.net. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Indeed. Out route, near side, deflected away, and it's a common play that Vancouver here early has snuffed out pretty well as Mark Lopez, the statsman, deflects it away. Yep. Again, Vancouver's defense just seems to have the Jacksonville offensive game plan on the back of their hand uh, as that uh, pass gets deflected by our own statsman, Mr. Mark Lopez. Mark pulling double duty here today. He's on the field making tremendous plays. And he's in the stats truck giving us all the information we could ever need as we thank Mark for all that he does here in the SFL. Same formation here on second down. Same play. This time, this one is hauled in by Gossett for about four yards. So chip, chip, chipping away. Now you need six more to convert on third down. Yep. Jacksonville doing right now what Jacksonville does, those short, consistent passes for short yards uh, that have worked out for them in uh, a couple of their other games coming in on a four-game win streak. I'm sorry, a three-game win streak here. Six to ten so far. Here is Christian Christensen here on his third drive. Pass over the middle into coverage, deflected away, incomplete. So it'll be back-to-back -back three and outs for Jacksonville as major key will send down the Jacksonville offense. Yep, Vancouver's defense again just absolutely has Jacksonville's offense completely memorized. Uh, major key there who made that deflection. Uh, currently fourth overall in the SFL. Just going to add to that here. The only receiver to catch a pass for Jacksonville so far has been Ken Gossett as he has three receptions for over 20 yards as the punts away and being returned to the 30 gets by a couple defenders and taken down at about the 33 yard line is Dean Maddox. And so now here comes the offense back out of the field for Vancouver, trying to, you know, break the trend. We've seen three straight drives for both teams leading to three and outs. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see here if, uh, Vancouver decides to change up their game plan a little bit, try and throw Jacksonville's uh, defense off guard. 3-3, nickel look here from Jacksonville as they give to Redford up the middle. And look at that! Redford is gone! He's going to take it 67 yards all the way to the end zone, untouched! Touchdown, Legion! What a run there from Robert Redford. I did mention... Vancouver trying something different. Jacksonville was not prepared for a run on first down. They got absolutely torched by Redford. Oh my goodness, he got away from everybody. Has a five yard lead on the closest defender and Vancouver quickly go up nine. And here comes our own Rakowski on to make it 10. It was a 67-yard rush out of Redford there for that touchdown. And how many plays was that, Aaron? Just just one, right? Just one, just one, one play. play. One and done. My, my goodness. Snap spot. Kick is up, and it is good. 10-0 Vancouver as we're closing in on the end of the first quarter. It's starting to look eerily similar to the, to the line of that uh, first game from Week 7 out of these two. That game going and ending up in a scoreline of, if I can crunch the numbers here again, a 37-24 victory for Vancouver in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So Jacksonville trying to break the trend as the return there from Mike St. Green gets a block. He's going to take it for a while and take it on the opposite side of the 50, and he's down to the 37. An explosive return to give Jacksonville hope. Absolutely. Mike St. Green, absolutely 
seeing what Robert Redford just did and is like, you know what, I can do that too, and gets an absolutely killer return on that punt. Some fantastic blocking downfield just sprung St. Green all the way down the field. And right now he's pulling double duty, helping out on the SFL halftime report going on on Next Level Sports coming up in a little bit. He's done a fantastic job all season on the show. And now here comes the Jacksonville offense on first down. Jared Willis gets the call near side. He's taken down for a loss of three as we'll go ahead and introduce you to the uh, very explosive Mike Coverson. Absolutely. And again, I think Jacksonville's almost trying to replicate Vancouver's success with that first down run. Uh, unfortunately, Vancouver absolutely prepared for it. Quick drop from Christensen. Fires at far side. That one's hauled in by someone other than Ken Gossett. It'll be Grayson Willis calling in his first reception of the ballgame. Yep, Grayson Willis, though, another one of those favorite targets for uh, Christian Christensen. Currently now 82 uh, targets on the season overall. Makes him 24th in the league. Uh, it'll be a key fourth down for Jacksonville here, though. Down 10-0. As Canada Field gets loud here on this third down, Christensen fires on the out route near side. That one's caught by Grayson Willis for his second reception in as many plays, and it's a first down for Jacksonville. Yep, Vancouver not prepared for that that switch in target uh, over to Grayson Willis. Uh, definitely key pickup there, though, for Jacksonville on third down. So we'll see Christian Christensen go in the gun here as they have entered the Vancouver red zone. Quick draw. Pressure coming. Fires it over the middle, almost directly at the rookie of outside linebacker, Josh Farnsey. And it's un unfortunately for Vancouver and thankfully for Jacksonville, incomplete. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a, just a bad read from Christensen or some pressure coming from Vancouver's defense, but that could have been very very dangerous there uh, for Jacksonville. Ace single back formation up here for Jacksonville as Christensen fires it over the middle and that one's caught and good enough for a first down for Ken Gossett. It was a very, very well read pass that time. The exact, uh, pretty much the exact opposite of what we saw uh, that last play there. Uh, Vancouver just, I think, was a little miscommunication. Who's supposed to recover and gossip that he makes them pay it dearly with that pickup. That'll be first and goal here for the Kings as they'll try and punch it in and keep pace with Vancouver. Christensen back to pass, dumps it out for Willis there on the far side, and he's going to pick up a couple for him being gang tackled at the four yard line. Yep, had potential to be big there. Willis was pretty open on that pass, but again, Vancouver's defense just absolutely prepared for it, just swarmed on him as soon as he caught the ball. It'll be second goal now for the Kings as the Vancouver Legion defense come out in a goal line set. And off, Jared Willis near side, tries to bounce it up further, gets it through a tackle, and will walk right into the end zone. Touchdown, Duval! That is absolutely what Jacksonville needed there. Big run out of Jared Willis, big strong run to get that touchdown. Uh, it makes this game a lot closer. And for Jared Willis, that is going to be touchdown number 50. Yep, and touchdown number five rushing on the season for him. That was a four-yard rush to, for that touchdown. So here comes Anthony Cece, one of the best kickers in SFL history. Snap spot kick is on its way, and it is good. And we're back to a three-point ball game. Vancouver leading 10-7. to seven. Mm -hmm. Still very close between both of these teams, though. They're, they're definitely well scouted between the two. No love lost between either side 
from their last matchup in week seven. The series between these two teams is tied up at three. And so we'll see now if Dean Max will take it out of the end zone. No, he's going to go ahead and take a kneel in the end zone. And last time out, one play, 67 yards for Robert Redford on a fantastic run. Absolutely. Uh, Jacksonville's defense on that, that one play just didn't see it coming. So he lines up off center to Tom Pepper in the backfield as they'll come out with three wide. Pepper takes a deep drop, is going to fire it down the middle of the end to almost caught there at the midfield stripe by Daly, and it's incomplete. That was an absolutely dangerous pass, though. A number of Jacksonville bodies in the area of that pass uh, could have easily picked it off had they gotten the read on it. Tom Pepper already showing that he has no fear, already completed on a couple of long ones here early in this football game. We'll see if he goes back that way here later. Quick drop this time from Pepper, dumps it out far side. That one is hauled in and good enough for a gain of eight for Brett Killian, and it's third and short. Yep, taking a bit of a page out of Jacksonville's playbook there with that short, quick pass uh, over to the sideline. So it'll be third and a couple yards to go as coverage backs off as Vancouver only needed two yards. Hand off Redford up the gut, and he will pick up the first down yardage to the 32. Yep. Interesting for, for Jacksonville to pull the coverage back on that third and short. Second short. New set of downs here for the Vancouver Legion as it'll be an empty backfield and four wideouts here as the ticker ticks down closer to the end of the first quarter. This will be the last play of the quarter. Pepper floats it over the middle and it's picked up and going the other way. Oh, the big man's got a chance to the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Keenan Samuels, the rookie linebacker, picks up the pick six. That's his first interception of his career, and it came in an absolutely pivotal time. That's exactly what Vancouver didn't want, I'm afraid. That's going to be Tom Pepper's 23rd on the season. Congratulations to Mr. Samuels, and Jacksonville are quickly going to take the lead here as it'll be Anthony CC to tack on the extra point. Snap spot kick is up, and Jacksonville leads this one 14 to 10 here at the end of the first quarter. My goodness, it's a wild run here in Vancouver. You're watching the SFL on Twitch. Welcome back to Vancouver. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Aaron Alexander as Jacksonville just took the lead to end of the first quarter and they're going to kick it up here to Dean Maddox who's deep in his own end zone as he angles to the far side, spins away from one, tries to get away from a couple and is taken out after a nice little return to the 28-yard line. Yep, Vancouver's definitely going to look into to go on this quarter, shake off that, uh, that interception at the end of the first uh, and try and make up uh, some ground here on Jacksonville. So here comes Tom Pepper back out on the field trying to shake off what he did on the last drive only a few moments ago. Quick drop, fires out far side. That one is hauled in and good enough for a gain of eight to Kendra Hall, and she'll pick up eight yards on her first catch. Yep, pretty pretty smart there, I think, from the Legion's coaching staff. Try and build Tom's confidence up with some nice, quick, short passes. Uh, try and build the morale with the rest of the team there as well. Correction, that's going to be her second catch as she has 39 yards, along with Brett Killian, two reception, 39 yards for him as well as Redford gets the call up the middle, shakes off one tackler, and his determined running gets him the first down to the 41-yard line. Yep, Robert Redford there absolutely pinballing 
uh, of the defense, uh, Jacksonville. I think just, uh, again, a bit of miscommunication there on uh, exactly what was going on. Gets Vancouver that first down. Empty backfield here for Vancouver as they spread the field with four wide. Deep drop from Pepper. Deep ball down the middle. That one's holding by Kendra Hall. And she's going to take it all the way down to the 16-yard line. It's another really, really big pass there out of Tom Pepper. Uh, good to see, you know, he's already gotten that cop to this back. And uh, Kendra with a, a great route to just absolutely uh, slip past Jacksonville's defense. Nearly deflected there by Alex Bond. Somehow Pepper fit that one in there, and Kendra is already close to a hundred yards. Excuse me, receiving here in the first half. Indeed, Kendra, of course. Go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. I said Kendra, of course, building on the uh, pretty impressive stat line she's built these past this past season. Redford gets the call there, already close to 100 yards himself on the ground, especially after that 67-yard touchdown early on in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Despite the scoreline, Vancouver still looks like they have Jacksonville's defense pretty much figured out, getting uh, big chunks of yardage here now. Delayed handoff for Redford up the middle, spinning and spinning his way all the way into the end zone, and Vancouver retake the lead. Touchdown, Legion. That's a pretty emphatic answer there from Vancouver. Uh, Redford absolutely spinning his way into the end zone. A second of the ball game, and take a look at the nice blocking led by Asmon Falkenberg, and then Robert Redford just continually spinning into the end zone for his second TD of the ball game. Here comes Ramon Rakowski on to attempt the extra point and retake a three-point lead for the Legion. That's uh, That was Redford's 12th touchdown on the season on the ground. Snap spot kick is up and it is good. Vancouver retake the lead at 17 to 14 on a five play 73 yard drive culminating with that 11 yard spin a touchdown for Robert Redford. Yep, and this game has been an absolute slugfest between both of these teams. Uh, Kendra hauling in two catches for 51 yards uh, and Robert Redford getting 22 yards on three carries. So Kendra Hall and Robert Redford tag teaming to get seven on the board as Mike St. Green looking for another good return. He'll go all the way down to the 33 this time. And here comes Jacksonville's offense back out on the field for the first time in quite a while. As the last time they were out here, they picked up a touchdown of their own. Yep. Last, uh, last drive was a shorter one, 37 yards, but it ended in a touchdown for Jacksonville. So it's a split back formation here on first down for the Kings. Christensen back to pass. will fire it near side to the fullback. And that's going to be going backwards for two yards as Iggy Swift hauled it in, but then fell out of bounds. It's an interesting route there from Swift. Uh, definitely maybe mistimed the, the pass there from Christensen. Oh, they bunch up the backs in the backfield a little bit closer together as they'll come out in the near set as one of the linemen for Vancouver step offside, and that one's thrown over the middle by Christensen and nearly intercepted, but it's going to be a free play and a three five yards for the Kings. Yep. Pretty, pretty obvious jump there from the defense with that encroachment. So they'll tag Mike Coverson, the sophomore defensive end with the infraction as that'll bring up a short yardage situation upcoming for the Kings. Yep, should be second and seven coming up for Van uh, for Jacksonville here, excuse me. They'll split the backs out again here in the backfield with three wideouts this time. 
Christensen takes a deep or a quick drop, tries to fire it over the middle, and he's hit as he throws, and it falls incomplete as Gerald Giudicesi comes down and forces the hurry, and it's third down upcoming. Yeah, Giudicesi just absolutely plowed through the center there, uh, put some big pressure onto uh, Christian Christensen, and uh, forced that throw away uh, into the dirt. This entire drive, the Kings have had two backs in the backfield. No difference here on third down. Quick drop again from Christian. So this one's over the middle. That one's hauled in by Grayson Willis for first town yardage and more to the Vancouver 46. Yep, absolutely great play calling there from Jacksonville's offensive coordinator. Uh, with the two back set up, probably expecting another quick pass there. Uh, and... Vancouver just wasn't expecting it at all. Now on the opposite side of the 50 come the Kings. Yeah, it'll be Swift and Jared Willis in the backfield. Christensen's pass over the middle. That one's hauled in to Jack Wall, and that'll be Jack Wall's first target and first completion of the game. Yep. Jacksonville's tight ends, uh... Under underappreciated so far this game, but that's uh that's gonna be a big, big first down there for Jacksonville and get them even further into Vancouver territory. Let's take a little bit of a breather on the sideline as Jacksonville comes out with three wide receivers and again two backs in the backfield. Handoff up the middle there for Willis and Willis gets by one before being brought down at the Vancouver 32. Yeah, Willis got some good blocks there. Uh, good uh, three-yard pickup for him as Jacksonville looks to keep this drive going. Well, first time on the drive, only one back in the backfield is Willis and two tight ends, two wide receivers. It'll be a dump off to Willis on the near side. He cuts it upfield and will fight his way forward for the first down, and he, they will give it to him. Tackle made there by Josh Farnsey, just not a, strong enough to hold him from getting the first. Yeah, Vancouver... I think needs to respect that short pass a little bit more. Otherwise, Jared Willis is just going to catch those and pick up these first downs all day long. You set a down steer for the Kings deep now into Vancouver territory. Come out in an identical formation and a whole bunch of defensive backs on the field. Five of them for Vancouver to counter only a two wide receiver set. Christensen dumps it off far side, and that's probably the reason why they like so many defensive backs out on that play. It's Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray deflects that one. Big read there from Kyler Murray to deflect that pass. Uh, that's going to be the second one from him today. No picks so far from the Legion, but definitely a lot of deflections as they've been swarming all over this football field, limiting Christensen's numbers as Christensen's back to pass again to the corner. That's hauled in by Ken Cusset. Just took one out of the air, and Jacksonville retakes the lead. We're going back and forth on this teeter-totter of a game. What an absolute bullet there from Christensen. Just read that absolutely brilliantly uh, to get that around Major Key and into the hands uh, of Gossett there. Back and forth and back and forth we go. Here comes Anthony CC to retake a four-point advantage for Jacksonville. Absolutely. What a drive there from Jacksonville, ending in that 24-yard pass. Snap spot kick is away, and it is good. And so Jacksonville retake the lead. It's 21 to 17 just about midway through the second quarter. Keep up with the SFL and its teams on social media at Simulation FL. Follow us on Twitter for weekly broadcast schedules to discover team content and stay up to date on SFL news. Let us know who your favorite team is or how you enjoy the broadcast each week with the hashtag make an impact. Thanks for your support and your viewership as CC will send this on its way to Dean Maddox and he'll take it out of his own end zone, cutting right up the middle of the field and he'll get maybe about two yards on the return, and that'll set him up at the 22-yard line for Tom Pepper and company. Yep, Vancouver, uh, of course, 
Uh, pretty quick drive last time. Five plays ending in an 11-yard touchdown rush uh, by Robert Redford. Mark Lopez, our statistician today, says whoever bet the under might be sweating right now as we already, already have scored 38 points and the under is set at 54 and a half as Redford looked very close again to break off another huge tackle. He's over 100 yards today. Yeah, absolutely uh, explosive performance currently from Robert Redford. I believe two TDs. I may be wrong about that. I am wrong about that. He's only got the one uh, rushing touchdown so far. Two backs in the backfield. Two wide receivers near side as Pepper back to pass. Fires it near side. That one's hauled in and good enough for a first down to Brett Killian as they get to the 35-yard line. Yeah. Tom Pepper keeps absolutely scaring me, though, with these bullet passes that just squeak by getting deflected by these... Uh, these defenders here for Jacksonville. Three wide receivers, two backs. Another give to the two touchdown man, Robert Redford, looking for three. He's got a hold on the near sideline. He's into Jacksonville territory at the 42-yard line. Vancouver starting to starting to punish uh, Jacksonville with their run game. Also, uh, I am incorrect. Uh, Redford, of course, does have two, not just one, uh, touchdown this game. Run, Robert Redford, run. Just having an absolutely stellar first half and looking to keep them coming. Two backs in the backfield and three wideouts here are on a new set of downs for the Legion. 3-3 three, three, nickel. Look here from the Kings. Deep drop from Pepper. Deep bomb down the middle. Deflected in the air. An incomplete pass intended there for Andy Hamilton. And it's second down. Tom Pepper continuing with these, these dangerous passes that are just oh so close to becoming uh, picked off by Jacksonville's defense. It looks like... A couple of questions in chat if, if that was P.I., but as the ball was contested, it looks like that was a clean hit. And so, sets up second down from the 42. We'll see what Vancouver decides to do uh, this play here. Trips far side and Pepper all alone in the gun. He's back to pass. Fires it over the middle to a wide open receiver. Has a lane down the center. And on another huge game for this Vancouver Legion passing attack that leads the league in passing yards. Yeah, Tom Pepper absolutely proving here and now why he has the most passing yards in the league. Uh, just throwing absolute bullets uh, all over the field. Very quickly, the Legion have marched down into the red zone again where they have been perfect on converting in this area so far today and off redford up the middle he gets by one he has another hole and it's a hat trick for robert redford in the first half touchdown vancouver uh absolutely brilliant running again from robert redford to pick up td number three uh getting 19 yards on that rush there I believe that puts him at just about 200 on the game in the first half as well. Just a stellar performance from Robert Redford as we're on a teeter-totter. We've gone back the way of Vancouver as we'll see Ramon Rakowski on to see if he can put Vancouver up by three again. Also, the stat man correcting me. It's only 151 yards, but still very impressive here in this first half. Kick is on its way, and it's through the uprights, and good. 24-21 in a shootout, but it's not the one we expected. We expected, and we have seen Robert Redford throw the ball down the field quite a bit, but it's been the Robert Redford show today, Aaron. Absolutely. Robert Redford... Uh, on that drive alone, 46 of the 78 yards in total, and only on three carries.
As Rakowski gets us going again, Mike St. Green hauls in the return at the 10, angles his return out to back toward midfield, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. As here comes Jacksonville. Last couple drives for both teams. They've seen each other answer each scoring drive. So do we see another touchdown coming up for the Kings here, Aaron? Uh, if they keep playing with the, the same consistency they have been, uh, I definitely foresee at least three, uh, if not another seven, in their future. Offset single back here on first down for the Kings. They'll hand off to Jared Willis up the middle and look at the defenders swarm to the ball carrier and take him down for minimal yards, led by the rookie defensive end, Achilles Papatonis. Yep. And Vancouver's defense showing Jacksonville, if you try to run the ball, we will stop you. No questions asked. Willis, so far, under 50 yards. In fact, only under 10 yards on the ground here today as Christian Christensen's pass over the middle is hauled in by, I believe that's Jack Wall there at the bottom of the pile. It indeed is, and it's a first down for the Kings. Yep, and I believe that's uh, Jack Wall's first or second reception on this game for Jacksonville. A uh, big pickup there for them. Indeed, a second reception over 20 yards so far in this football game. As the drive continues for the Kings, three wideouts and an offset single back behind Christian Christensen. Quick drop, and he's hit as he throws again, and it's just going to go right into the turf at almost breakneck speed as it's Gerald Giudicessi with the hurry. It's Giudicessi's second uh, forced pass in the dirt there. Big plays coming out of this, uh, this Vancouver defensive line. Second and 10 upcoming here for the Kings. Three wideouts, two backs in the backfield. Countered by a nickel look from the Legion. Handoff up the middle for Willis. He's going to double his yards per attempt and pick up seven. And it's going to be third. And I'd say very manageable here, Aaron. Absolutely. That was uh, some big blocks there from... Uh, Jacksonville's offensive line uh, caught Vancouver's defense just a little off guard, allowed Jared to pick up seven yards there. Christian Christensen back to pass, fires over the middle, and Josh Farnsey has a couple of deflections, and it brings up a fourth down, and we'll see the punting unit come on the field for Jacksonville. Uh, that's just an unfortunate pass there from Christian Christensen. Uh, almost directly into the hands of Josh Farnsey there. The little Matator throwing some shade on the Kings. As he said, uh, third and short, very manageable. Not seeing it. And so it'll be how Howard McCoy on to punt this one away to Dean Maddox, who's going to call for a fair catch inside the 20. He calls it at the 12, and he hauls it in. And so it'll be a little bit longer uh, distance for the Legion to go, but that hasn't been the problem today, Aaron. Absolutely not. Uh, also, another key note here, uh, that was seven straight drives prior to that drive from Jacksonville without a punt. All TDs. And uh, for Redford, he's been busy today, but this time gets tackled right at the line of scrimmage by... I believe that was A.J. Pennypacker and Hunter Norwood and company, along with Clay Jones, come up with the tackle. Yeah, Jacksonville seeing Redford's game is having none of it this drive so far. And we have reached the two-minute warning here in the first half. It's been a shootout, 24-21, your scoreline. This is the Simulation Football League on Twitch. We have two minutes left to go here in Vancouver in this first half as the Vancouver Legion are driving and have the lead 24-21. Deep drop from Pepper. Pressure coming from the outside. Does get it away to the near side. And Kendra Hall with a toe-tapping catch. It's a first down and she falls out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Fantastic play call. Yeah, it was a beautifully placed ball there by Tom Pepper as well. 
just perfectly into the hands of Kendra Hall, uh, not able to allow any of Jacksonville's defense to get a hand on that pass. Already moving in the right direction. At one point, we're backed up in their own territory at the 12, and now they're here at the 29 looking to continue on a very promising drive as Pepper takes another deep drop, steps up in the pocket, fires over the middle. That one's hauled in for another huge gain. Make it 19 on the reception to Brett Killian. Yep, that's going to be Brett Killian's fourth reception this game. Uh, and Vancouver's offense just absolutely continuing to show promise. Uh, 200 yards on the game for Tom Pepper as well. A little bit of a different look now from the Legions. They go power eye. It'll be just a quick screen pass there to Redford on the far side. Has a hole. Spins away from one. He's trying to pick up more yards. And he's down to the 34. What can't this man do? Honestly, I don't know at this point. That was a very big pickup there on that screen pass. Some big blocks there from Vancouver's offense as well as they go to it again. This time only picking up one yard as Redford looked to be deep in in the backfield, able to spin forward for a couple yards as they'll hurry back up to the line again with under 50 seconds left to go in the half. As they take a little bit more time, Red Pepper finds Redford on the outside again. He tries to sneak away from Michael Spruce and won't be able to get away. It'll be third and three, and now Vancouver calls a timeout. Vancouver sticking with what works there before that timeout, just these quick... Short, quick screen passes to Robert Redford. Now able to reset and get out of that formation. They come out in a eye with two wide outs to the far side of the formation. Whip drop this time from Pepper. Find, try to find his man over the middle and it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of the fullback. Brick wall had brick hands. And here comes the field goal unit on to try and extend the lead more dangerous passes coming out from tom pepper unfortunately that one there uh definitely on the brick hands of brick wall so here comes ramon rakowski on to attempt a 43 yarder from the left hash this to put vancouver up by six before the end of the half. Snap, spot, kick is on its way. Does it have the distance? It does, and it's through the uprights for Vancouver. It's 27-21. Indeed. Still still very, very close game here. Jacksonville could easily uh, come back, uh, even on just this next dr short drive that they have, uh, and tie this game up, if not take the lead before halftime. Jacksonville still has all three timeouts left to go, so everything isn't out of possibility just yet as Vancouver went down on an eight-play, 59-yard drive, resulted in that field goal, and here comes Mike St. Green on the return, trying to get a couple more yards, but taken down right at the 31-yard line, and they'll have about 27 seconds to make something happen. That is correct. We'll see if Jacksonville... Uh, opts to go for the deep ball that Vancouver has been using to great effect, uh, or if they'll stick with what they know with these quick short passes. 48 points scored between the two teams. That that under looking very dangerous right now, being shattered. Christensen slant route over the middle, hauled in for, for first down at the 45 to Grayson Willis, and they'll hurry back up to the line. They have 15 seconds remaining haven't called a timeout yet quick drop again here from christensen hit as he throws and that one's gonna fall incomplete as the greek nightmare piles on the pressure that's achilles papatonis very very uh shall i say sweaty game from both of these teams both in terms of offense and defense here coverage backs off gives the Wide receivers, plenty of time to make something happen underneath, and that'll be the game plan going forward here for Vancouver. Pass over the middle, finds Ken Gossett for a good first down, 
and they should be in Anthony CC's range. So they should be able to close the gap here before we hit the half. That's a fair point, but here's the question. Are they going to stick with the three, or are they going to try and push and go for six here before halftime? As we have five seconds remaining here in the first half, as it does look like we're going to see a long field goal attempt from CC. This one to be 52, make it maybe 53 from off to the right, not near the hash, but close. Snap spot, takes his time, gets it away, and it is short, no good, and we'll enter the half. Vancouver still up by six. That's unfortunate. That's Anthony CC's first miss in three seasons here in the SFL. And that's his first career Miss something I thought we would never see from Anthony CC, but you can always expect the unexpected in the SFL as Vancouver heads into the locker room up at half, and it's been a fantastic offensive performance from both sides here, Aaron Alexander. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely looking forward to see what these two teams bring in the second half. As we take a look at the numbers, Vancouver off to a flyer already oh, close to 400 total offensive yards. And unfortunately do have that one pick six to Keenan Samuels, his first of his career. Yeah, Jacksonville, though, not even 200 yards yet. That, uh, that pick six, I think, is what keep, is keeping them in this game so far. Doing wonders as we take a look at those first half highlights. Kendra Hall making a couple of nice plays, but already here in the first half, Robert Redford has a hat trick of touchdowns on the ground. Absolutely. Rod for Redford just absolutely exposing every hole in Jacksonville's defense, rushing for 150 yards so far this game. Kendra Hall, Brett Killian, not to be outshined either. They're the only two receivers that have receptions besides those being the contracted players. And we've got the backups uh, that have made a couple of plays. But for the most part, it's been Brett Killing and Kendra Hall on the wide receiver front. But as we take a look, I get a couple more highlights. There's Keenan Samuels coming up with his first interception. And what a way to get your first interception. It goes all the way back to the house. Absolutely. Big, uh, Big congratulations there to Keenan Samuels. Not only his first career interception, but he turns it into his first career pick six. As we take a look, a couple more highlights and a couple other players we want to point out is the running game for Jacksonville needs to get going under 20 yards on the ground for Jacksonville. And in my opinion, if they want to get something going here in the second half, Jared Willis has to get going. Absolutely. Only five attempts so far this game has rushed a total of 12 yards compared to the absolute monster numbers that Redford's been pulling up. And meanwhile for Vancouver's defense, they've been able to get pressure on Christian Christensen all game. Has three hurries, no sacks. Uh, but just a fantastic game plan all around for Vancouver. And as they come out of the locker room here, Aaron, what's the game plan for either side if they want to come out with a victory and crucially, maybe a playoff berth? I think for Jacksonville, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, uh, they they definitely need to change the way that they run their offense against Vancouver. Vancouver's defense has had Jacksonville's playbook memorized like it's on the back of their hand the entire game. And so as we welcome you back into Canada Field up here in Vancouver, I'm Tyler Falk, joined by debutante commentator Aaron Alexander and Mark Lopez in the stat struck, along with Cameron Irvine back at SFL HQ, who's producing this one for you. As we are so happy you've decided to join us here on this Saturday afternoon, as CC will send this one on its way to Dean Maddox, who will take it out of his own end zone and tries to angle his return to the far side, and he'll be met up at the 22 yard line. And here come the Vancouver Legion offense for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, and I think the key for Vancouver to to 
kind of open this game wide uh, is to just keep doing what they've been doing. Jacksonville has had minimal answers for both Robert Redfield and Tom Pepper's arm. Two tight ends, two backs, one wide receiver on the field here for Vancouver on the first down. Pepper back to pass, finds his out route on the near side. That one's hauled in by James Walters for a pickup of seven. That's going to be his first catch uh, on the day as Vancouver uh, and Tom changing up their, their reception targets here early. Offset eye behind Pepper, and they're going to bunch everybody in tight up on the offensive line for Vancouver. Redford gets the call on the far side. He spins away and has another lane. Oh, my. Robert Redford looking for four. Sneaks away from a tackler and taken down at the Jacksonville 14-yard line. Robert Redford absolutely showing uh, just how dominant he's been this game as that rush takes him over 200 yards total. And, oh my goodness, if we take another look at Redford's run, holy cow, just stretching the field. He's been impossible to tackle today. Yeah, Jacksonville absolutely needs to find some side of answer for Robert Redford, and they need to find it very, very quickly. Already two runs on the day for Robert Redford going 50-plus as they'll play action his way. Fires it in the end zone, and just like that, Vancouver strike again touchdown legion absolutely brilliant stuff from Vancouver already early here in the first half in the second half excuse me uh doing absolutely everything that has led them to a now two score lead this game and don't look now with the extra point. If it's good, the o the under will be shattered. And so if anyone expected this one to be anything but a shootout, uh, just just ask Robert Redford and James Walters and company uh, about, you know, maybe having to rethink that. As Ramon Rakowski is on to attempt the extra point. Snap spot kick is up. And Vancouver take a third point lead it's 34 to 21 absolutely i tell you if you started watching this game earlier on it definitely looked like this was going to be very low scoring but both vancouver and jacksonville have just absolutely turned on the jets as far as scoring goes so now rakowski will send this one on its way to mike st green and we'll see if Jacksonville can get something going, your turn will start at about the 17. He angles it, spins away from one, and nearly broke off another big return if it was not for 81, Austin Hansen. Yeah, Mike St. Green has had a lot of good returns on these kickoffs, and I'm telling you, eventually one of them is going to work in his favor, and he's going to take it all the way. Here comes Christian Christensen and company on their first offensive possession of the second half. Deep corner route, near side, one play. 64 yards for Grayson Willis, and it's an immediate reply for the Kings. What an explosive pass out of Christian Christensen. Uh, definitely, definitely a bit of a change there, uh, at least on that play. Uh, Grayson Willis, though, absolutely burning past Dean Maddox to score that touchdown. Don't be sleeping on me. Holy cow. That was the perfect call from Jacksonville. And just like that, they come right back and they're going to try and make this one a six point game again. As Anthony Cece coming off his first ever miss last time out, looking to shake off those vibes and put one through. Snap spot kick is on its way, and it is good. He gets right back into his rhythm, and it's Vancouver 34, Jacksonville roaring back to life, 28. I tell you what, I certainly hope you have a bottle of water there by you, Tyler, because this one does not allow you to catch your breath 
at all. Oh, definitely. I, I, I can't imagine anyone right now who was probably just on their way back from the seats out of the concession stand. They've just missed two quick touchdowns as CC goes ahead and sends this one on its way to Maddox. And Maddox will just elect to take a knee in the end zone. The SFL broadcast team is looking to add new talent to our ranks of broadcasters. Applications are being accepted now to try out for either play-by-play -play or analyst broadcasting positions. No prior experience is required, just a love for the game and a desire to succeed. The application can be found on our website at simulationfl.net slash broadcasting. And you can be like Aaron Alexander here to, to my right, here up in the booth on his debut broadcasting for us. So anyone can do it. Tom Pepper, deep drop, deep bomb down the far sideline, tipped up in the air, and it falls incomplete intended for Kendra Hall. I tell you, some of these passes from, from Tom Pepper are an absolute heart attack waiting to happen. Gotta say for Jacksonville, though, they gotta catch these. Like a, lot of, a lot of these uh, deflections have been dangerously close to interceptions if Jacksonville's defenders can just get their hands on them properly. And they do have one pick, and that one returned all the way back to the house by Keenan Samuels. Robert Redford gets the call up the middle, and he's going to sneak away from one again. He has been a very, very elusive back, and already at 214 rushing yards in the game. Yeah, Jacksonville still searching for an answer to try and contain Robert Redford here. Uh, otherwise, he's just going to keep bouncing around. Very much bumped coverage by the Jacksonville Kings as Redford gets the call again. He's going to fight forward to the first down, lined again, but Succo Lomano denies him. It's fourth and inches. And we'll see here if Vancouver decides to go and punt it away or if they're going to try and force the issue with this shorter end situation. It does look like they're going to punt it, though. So for the first time in the half, we'll see Brian Patrick on a punt it away. So a good hold there from Jacksonville as they have gained a little bit of momentum from their last touchdown. We'll see if they can put up a couple more points here on their next possession as Patrick sends it on its way to Mike St. Green. And he'll be taken down after a very short return at his own 36-yard line. Yep. Jacksonville looking to come into this drive with that momentum not only from the big stop but from that big touchdown drive uh prior so last time out one play 64 yards to ken gossett and we'll see if they can be just as explosive to put up more points here on this drive another deep ball to the near side somehow hold in by Jack Wall, the tight end, just lost two defenders. Jack needs to calm down. Good Lord, what a catch there from the tight end. Holy cow, and that was as Christian Christensen was being hit again. Able to get this one off and find Jack Wall on the near sideline. And they're into Vancouver territory at the 42. Christian up to 250 yards passing on the game now. Quick drop, quick out route to the far side for Ken Gossett. And it'll be a pick of a five, and it'll be second down. Yep. Key, key note for, for Jacksonville. They've gotten a couple deep passes. Definitely going to look to slow the game down now. Uh, at least a little. Second and five. Christensen back to pass. Dump off near side for Gossett. Gossett has a first down to the 31 yard line. And so Jacksonville are rolling right along here on this drive. Yep. I don't know what uh, Jacksonville's coach told the players in the locker room, but what everyone said has definitely worked wonders uh, for their momentum into this half. Split back formation with two wide receivers on. The field here for Jacksonville. And off up the middle. This one is a good little gainer here for the fullback. Iggy Swift as he'll pick up eight yards before being brought down. It's a big run there from Iggy Swift. Good to see some uh, 
some fullback love from Jacksonville as a fullback myself. And you'll be jumping into the minor league, won't you, Aaron? Absolutely. What team are you with there, Aaron, as we get closer and closer to the start of the SFLM season? It's the Lexington Miners. Their, their inaugural debut into the minor league as the dump off to the far side is cotton hauled in by Jared Willis, and it's a first down and a new set of downs for the Kings. Yep, Jacksonville now driven the ball deep into Vancouver territory, just showing off their their consistency that they had uh, prior to this game and prior to the first half. Three wideouts in a split back formation here on this set of downs here for Jacksonville. Dump off near side, hauled in by Mike St. Green as he jukes out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down. It'll be first and goal for Jacksonville. Mike St. Green there, I think a little too excited to try and get his first touchdown of his of the season. Uh, got a little little toe tappy and just stepped out of bounds right before uh, he could have turned up field. First and goal from the seven here for the Kings as they'll line up with an offset eye and two wideouts. It'll be a stretch play to the far side that picks up no yards as the great containment was applied there by Achilles Papatonis. Yep, Vancouver's defensive line absolutely denying Jacksonville any sort of big run game at the moment. Second down from the same spot on the field here for the Kings as the defenders, the defensive backs for the Legion stand in their own end zone. Out route, near side for Gossett. He can't turn up field as he's met right away as he caught it by Kyler Murray, and it's third and goal from the two upcoming. Definitely interesting to see how Jacksonville decides to play this uh, this third and goal here, two yards out from the end zone. Looks like the quarterbacks are protecting the corner and out routes there on the outside. Pass goes into the middle. It's hauled in by Mike St. Green for his first touchdown of the season. Beautiful play call there from Jacksonville. Absolute pinpoint pass there for Christian Christensen as well to get it in the hands of Mike St. Green. Just a great route from him as well. And what a way for Mike St. Green to pick up his first touchdown of the season and this one potentially to give Jacksonville the lead. On now to... See if they will jump out in front will be Anthony CC. Snap spot. Kick is on its way and it's through the uprights and good. Jacksonville take a one point lead. It's 35 to 34 on a nine play 64 yard drive where Christian Christensen was perfect. Seven for seven. Yep. Absolutely key to that drive there was that completion percentage from Christian Christensen. His third we'll pass touchdown of the game as well. Having a phenomenal day, and he's been a really consistent performer today. No interceptions from CC. As Dean Maddox will take a knee in his own end zone. Visit the all new SFL League website at www.simulationfl.net for info on how to create a player to join our community, the league, and the teams that play in it. Links to apparel, helmets, and a comprehensive history of the SFL. It's over 1,500 games, and it's thousands of players who have hit the virtual field. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy, and as we get closer and closer to the SFL minor league starting up, make sure you head over there and create your player for the minor league start of the season. Absolutely. That way you can play either with or against me. <laughs> there we go. As we'll, we'll see the introduction of the Lexington Miners and the withdrawal of the Annapolis Navigators uh, in the third season of the minor league. But here in this one, it's a very tight ball game. One point the difference between Vancouver and Jacksonville as Pepper finds his man on the near side. That one's going to be hauled in by Brett Killian. And it'll be third and short upcoming for the Legion. Absolutely. Another good short pass there from Tom Pepper, though. Trying to keep the drive uh, alive for Vancouver. And the scoring has 
since the beginning of the third quarter, slowed down a little bit as the Kings will pile men into the box trying to halt Robert Redford. And the pass over the middle to Killian is caught for his second reception in as many plays, and it's a first down for Vancouver. Absolutely. Another another nice, consistently well-timed pass there from Tom Pepper uh, to just put it perfectly in the hands of Brett Killian. He's completed 76% of his passes so far today, 19 of 25 for over 250 yards. As he's back to pass again, tries to find a man in the corner. It's somehow picked off! Taken away from Brett Killian. Michael Spruce is returning it, and he's got it to the 26. And Jacksonville looking to take control of this football game. I'll be honest with you, Tyler. I feel that was bound to happen eventually with some of those danger passes that Tom was throwing. Uh, unfortunately, that just slipped through the hands of Brett Killian there and right in the hands of Michael Sprouse. And Sprouse will pick up interception number 36 on his career and his fifth of the season. Absolutely beautiful play calling uh, or beautiful read there from Sprouse on that pick. Now set up an excellent field position are the Kings looking to take advantage of the turnover pass over the middle to a diving receiver. That's Ken Gossett, and he's over 100 yards today, and that'll set up Jacksonville at the 10-yard line. That puts Christensen at 300 total yards uh, on this game passing. Two different receivers as well, over 100 yards receiving. Jacksonville just 10 yards away from adding on to their slim lead and trying to take control as we enter into the final three minutes of the third quarter. Christensen back to pass, able to get away. That's deflected and picked up, but he walked into the end zone and somehow brought it back out. Kyler Murray returns the favor and saves Vancouver. Oh my goodness. I... I have nothing I can say here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, just, just a phenomenal play. And I've got to ask Mark Lopez in the stats truck. He's, he told us earlier he's already fallen out of his chair three times. I'd like an updated statistics, sir, if that was number three or not. But now the that Legion. was number four. <laughs> number four. All right. And it's Pepper being taken down in the end zone for a safety. And Jacksonville go up by three. Hunter Norwood absolutely bulldozing through the line there, picking up that that safety for Jacksonville. Oh, and just like that, we've seen two interceptions and back-to-back -back drives, and now Jacksonville defense takes the first sack of the ball game for either team, and it's a big one, a safety, which extends the lead for Jacksonville. And so, Mike St. Green... No, it won't be Mike St. Green this time. It'll be Trevor Swain getting the return on the punt after the safety. This game has been absolutely back and forth the entire time, and it's only the third quarter. Only a narrow three-point lead separates these two teams that are looking to clinch a playoff berth. CC's pass nearly picked off again by Kyler Murray, but it falls incomplete. Sector 6 is the official apparel provider of the Simulation Football League. Visit Sector6Apparel.com or our website at SimulationFL.net for replica team jerseys and completely customized jackets, flags, t-shirts, and more that help each team stand out from their opponents. Get the gear the fans wear with Sector 6 and the SFL. Offset single back here for the Kings on second down. They'll go to Gerald Willis on the dump off as he'll turn up field pick up two, but not before he's taken down right there by Josh Farnsey. And it's third down now for the Kings. Yeah, those uh, those quick passes, uh, definitely, Vancouver's definitely have some well scouted in this half. Uh, this is absolutely crazy what's going on right now, though. Five-step drop from Christensen. He dires it over the middle, and that's somehow incomplete as Farnsey able to get his mitts on one again for his fourth deflection, 
and it's a three and out for the Kings. Good work there from uh, Vancouver's defense to shut down a Jacksonville offense that uh, up to this point has been absolutely on fire. So here comes Howard McCoy on to punt this one away to Dean Maddox as they hold a three-point lead here late in the third quarter. Dean Maddox gets his return started about the 16, takes it up to about the 22, and here comes Vancouver and had a drive to forget last time out. It was only a one play and a one yard loss sack into the end zone and something that they could easily overcome. They've had a fantastic day all around today, Aaron. Absolutely. Tom Pepper, of course, uh, 261 yards in the air. Robert Redford, 214 on the ground. D-backs giving the wide receivers plenty of space and plenty of space for Brett Killian to haul that one in untouched as he'll run out of bounds after a gain of eight. Saw some good composure there from Tom Pepper. It's a bit of a high snap, uh, but he managed to rein it in and get that over to Brett Killian, who's almost at 100 yards reception. Uh, receiving. I can, and I can understand the, the willingness to play that soft zone for Jacksonville as they have been burned a couple of times on the deep ball. I think that time they were just you know, able to control the yards there and just saying, hey, you're able to pick up a couple yards here and there. Well, we'll go ahead and try and stop it here on the second and short as I'll give to Robert Redford on the near side. And for one of the few times today, he's taken down right at the line of scrimmage by the man who made the big interception last time out, Michael Sprouse. Yeah, it was a well-read play there for Michael Sprouse to to get there to Redford before Redford could break away. Two different styles of games going right now in the SFL on, on Next Level Sports. You have a tight old-school matchup, 13-10, between Carolina and L.A. as that one's nearing its conclusion. This one, Robert Redford, has been a workhorse, over 200 yards, three touchdowns, and this on this play, a first down. Yep, absolutely solid running there from Robert Redford, breaking through a couple tackles in order to get that first down. As according to Minson Mind, uh, plowing through defenders, and he has done that all game today as he'll be offside car right to Pepper. Gets a play action pass. Pepper trying to avoid pressure. He cannot. A.G. Penny Pecker comes down with Jacksonville's second sack of the ball game. Absolutely. I think there was just maybe a bit of miscommunication in the offensive line there. It's who was supposed to block who, and it ends up uh, to Vancouver's detriment there. Correction. The third sack of the football game for the Jacksonville defense is that'll set Pepper and company back two yards. Redford gets the call on the far side, and it will pick up a good gain of about six which halves the distance to that first down line to gain. Absolutely. Another big run there from Redford. As we end the third quarter. As we end the third quarter, we've got a good one brewing here. Jacksonville 37, Vancouver 34. You're watching the SFL on Twitch. Welcome back to Vancouver. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Aaron Alexander. And yes, last time, last play or a couple plays ago, that was A.G. Pennypacker's first career sack. So congratulations as a deep ball from Pepper finds his man over the middle. Brett Killian with the reception and they flip the field to the Jacksonville 36. Yep. Vancouver coming out absolutely swinging here in this fourth quarter as the, the defense just was woefully unprepared for that deep ball from Tom Pepper. All right, so first and 10 here for Vancouver. They come out in a strong eye. Handoff, Redford, far side, able to spin away from one, but only picks up about one yard before being brought down. Yep, Jacksonville starting to... Starting to Rain in Robert Redford, get more of a handle on his running style, and uh, try and limit his yardage now here in this fourth quarter. 
Send two wide receivers to the left side, and that's also where Robert Redford will be sidecar to Tom Pepper. Play action to Redford. Pressure coming. He's able to finally find Redford over the middle as Hunter Norwood was tr tracking down Pepper. But Redford hauls it in for a gain of two. And now, upcoming on third down here, Aaron, a stat that has not been kind so far in this football game for the Legion. Absolutely not. Prior to this drive, only two of seven on third downs. Pepper, quick drop, tries to find Kendra Hall and does as she hauls it in for the third conversion for Vancouver. And it's first and 10, Legion. Yep, and that's going to put Kendra Hall at uh, over 100 yards receiving as well to go along with right. Brett Killian and puts Tom Pepper uh, to just over 300 yards passing. Another power eye here on this first down for the Legion. Down by three. Nine minutes left to go. Hand off Redford. Tried to shake and bake behind the line of scrimmage. But this time, Jay Mart denies him at the line of scrimmage. Jay Mart just absolutely in the right place at the right time there uh, to prevent Redford from, again, going absolutely big on that run. Two backs in the backfield, two wide receivers off to the right. Five-step drop here from Pepper. Finds his man. That's Brett Killian. And it's Brett Killian. Plays some really tough durability. And will get the first down for Vancouver. Yep, absolutely big play out of Vancouver here to bring up first and goal. Here come the Legion trying to retake the lead. They lost. Early on in the third quarter. Three wideouts and an eye formation. Pepper back to pass. It'll be a swing pass for Redford. Spins away from one and tried to spin away from two. But there to meet him is Clay Jones for a short gain. Redford spin move there. Absolutely deadly. As you saw, picked up one there. Almost picked up a second, but gets stopped for only a gain of one on that pass. Split backs, two wide receivers here on second and goal. Deep drop from Pepper. Pressure coming from up the middle, and he's able to just get it away before Jay Mark got to him. And it's third and goal from the eight. Jacksonville's defense starting to pick up real big here in the red zone. As... Meanwhile, on Next Level Sports, L.A. retakes the lead late, 17-13 to 13 now. And here comes Tom Pepper and company. Trips near side of the formation. Eight yards from Pater. Can they punch it in to retake the lead? Quick draw. Pressure coming. Out route is hauled in by Kendra Hall, but she's unable to turn upfield. And that should send on the field goal unit led by Ramon Rakowski. Yeah, I can imagine Vancouver will be disappointed with this result. Definitely wanted to pick up the six there and regain the lead, uh, but we'll have to just settle for three points. This to tie up the football game. 20-yard 20 20 yard attempt from the right hash. Snap spot kick is up, and it is good. And we're all level again at 37 Vancouver and Jacksonville, this one's going to go down to the wire. Indeed it is. My goodness. So it was a 15 play, one of the longest drives in this football game for 76 yards and a field goal to tie up this football game. Mike St. Green starts his return as blockers up the middle. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. So, coverage of the SFL on For the Fans starts at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. It's a pair of Easter Sunday matchups. London travels to Fort Worth, and Las Vegas visits St. Louis in a major matchup for all four teams. The SFL on For the Fans. We put the fan in fantasy. Absolutely, and that drive was, in fact, the longest this game from Vancouver. Christian Sand tried to find the out route, 
That's going to fall incomplete. Fantastic coverage by Kyler Murray for yet another deflection. Yeah, Kyler Murray has been all over these passes from Christian Christians in this game. Uh, is currently sitting at four pass deflections and a pick. Well, after the incompletion, here comes Jacksonville on an offset strong eye to the near side. And off Jared Willis. He tries to fight a couple of yards, but can't as he's met up on the near side by Josh Farnsey for minimal yards. Vancouver's defense still has Jacksonville's run game under lock and key. A big third down upcoming here in this football game. Christian Christensen back to pass, finds Gossett on the near side. That's well short of the line to gain. And it's a three and out for the Kings. And Jackson, or excuse me, Vancouver will get the ball back. Yeah, and that's not what you want to see if you're a Jacksonville fan. A quick three and out immediately after a Vancouver field goal. It'll be Howard McCoy on a punt this one away, and it is on its way to Dean Maddox, who stands at about the 25-yard line. He tries to get his return started, and he's stopped at the 30-yard line, and so... Just under six minutes left to go here, Aaron. And Robert Redford has been fairly quiet, especially in the last drive. Absolutely. Only 14 yards and seven touches last drive. Vancouver definitely wants him to turn on the Jets here late to take this one away from a very ready and able Jacksonville. Pepper in the gun. Pressure coming from the outside. Fires to the far side. Almost... Again, picked off by Michael Sprouse, and Pepper's lucky that one falls to the turf. Yeah, definitely uh, a sigh of relief out of the mouth of Tom Pepper there as he was some, facing some big pressure also from the right. Jacksonville's defensive line. Second down upcoming now for the Legion. Quick pass over the middle is hauled in for first down yardage. And Brett Killian gets the reception and 12 yards. Beautiful pass there from Tom Pepper right in the hands of Brett Killian there. Here come the Legion trying to... Put up more points up on the board. They tied the football game last time with a field goal. Now looking to go ahead. Redford gets the call to the far side. He's taken down after a loss of two by Hunter Norwood and company. Yeah, Jacksonville's defensive line here, uh, Hunter Norwood included, have been absolutely right. on top of things. Second and 12 now upcoming here for the Legion. Trips to the far side of the formation and Pepper all alone in the gun. He's back to pass. Norwood trying to hunt him down again. Deep ball, far side, deflected away, intended for Killian. And it's third and 12 upcoming for the Legion offense. Yeah, sure is. Another dangerous pass there from Tom Pepper. Almost picked off again. Unfortunately, it does look like Hunter Norwood was injured on that play. We'll see uh, if he comes back at all in this game. Uh very unfortunate. He's been a lightning rod for the Jacksonville defense. They're definitely going to want him back in the game if he can return. Vancouver flip the formation, put the trips to the near side of the formation here on third down. Pepper back to pass. Pressure coming again. And he's taken down for a big sack on third down. And it's A.G. Pennypacker. Have a day, young man. Two sacks in the football game and now two sacks in his career. Absolutely beautiful play there from A.G. Pennypacker. Uh, just absolutely tore through the offensive line of Vancouver to make that sack. 
I want to welcome everyone joining us from the game over on the West Coast between LA and Carolina, where that one was a tight ball game. You're welcome you into here to Canada Field in Vancouver, where we have a shootout, but it all has gotten pretty tight here again, as it's 37-37 between Vancouver and Jacksonville. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Aaron Alexander, and it's been a shootout from start to finish and a teeter-totter going in this football game, Aaron. Absolutely. Both teams have just been firing shot after shot, score after score. It has been electric here in Vancouver. Christian Christensen, the man under center, is over 300 yards passing on the day. He'll add to that total here with a pass underneath to Grayson Willis for a gain of four. Yep, and just some uh, some news in terms of the playoff picture for both of these teams. Uh, regardless of the result, Vancouver and L.A. will play for the division title next week. With a win, it would very much help Vancouver as they would move to seven and four. But L.A. does have the tiebreaker on them, so a loss to L.A. in that game next week would be enough for L.A. to clinch the division as that deep bomb down the middle for Ken Gossett falls incomplete. Yeah, Christian Christian is starting to throw some of these passes similar to Tom Pepper that just come oh so close to getting picked off by the opposing defense. So another big third down upcoming in this football game. Third and six. And Christian Christensen's back to pass. Pressure coming from the outside. And he is sacked in the backfield. So both defenses come up with clutch sacks on third down and we'll see the punting unit come on the field for jacksonville yep and that marks vancouver's first sack of the game on christian christensen uh and also marks the third three and out in a row from both teams oh yeah, high football game 37 37 and here comes mccoy on to punt this one away and does get it off as the pressure from vancouver was pretty good dean maddox Gets the return, he takes it to the 39-yard line. And now with under three minutes to go, it's looking more and more likely whoever scores next will win this football game. Absolutely, Tyler. Both of these teams just putting it all out on the line at this point, trying to score that pivotal touchdown or pivotal field goal in order to turn this game in their favor. On set, near side of the formation. Pepper under center. Quick drop. Finds his man on the outside onto the far sideline. That one's hauled in for a gain of four. It's going to be Dan Daly's first reception of the game late here in the fourth quarter. First reception in two targets, so good for him to get onto the score sheet here at the end of the football game when his team need him the most. Three wideouts, and it'll be Robert Redford off center behind Tom Pepper, who takes a deep seven-step drop, tries to find his man on the far side. That one's hauled in for first down yardage by Brett Killian. Big grab there from Brett Killian to pick up that first down. Again, another really good throw from Tom Pepper as well. Just set that perfectly in his hands. And uh, that combination has been absolutely on top of things this game. Shotgun set, three wideouts here for Tom Pepper and the Vancouver Legion on first down. Back to pass, can't get away from the pressure, and he's taken down for a sack by Michael. Sack number five there for Jacksonville. He'll hurry back to the line, does the Vancouver offense. Pressure coming again from up the middle, and how did he fit that into Brett Killian over the middle in what looked to be five defenders around him? And that will take us to a very explosive two-minute warning here in this football game. 37 apiece. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the SFL on Next Level Sports. Vancouver 37, Jacksonville 37. Two minutes left to go in regulation. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Aaron Alexander and Mark Lopez in the stat truck with Cameron Irvine, the SFL commissioner, is our producer this evening. As a deep ball over the middle is in and out of the hands of the intended target. That's Kendra Hall. 
and it's second down. Yeah, that's only Kendra's first or second drop this game. Uh, absolutely unfortunate there, but uh, some good coverage by Jacksonville's defense to keep that out of her hands. Vancouver just might be on the outskirts of Ramon Rukowski's range, so any more yards would help tremendously for their kicker. Quick drop here from Pepper. Tries to find his man over the middle. Picked off for the third time today! And it's Bernard Gooden with the pick! Bernard Gooden there, just absolutely in the right place the right time to just snatch that ball out of the air. Beautiful read there from uh, from Gooden to get that interception. He read Tom Pepper's eyes all the way, and that's a hat trick of interceptions, unfortunately, for Tom Pepper. And now Jacksonville has a chance to go ahead and take the lead here late in this football game. Christensen back to pass, finds Mike St. Green on the outside, who gains eight yards before being wrapped down. Good pass there from Christensen, getting that out to Mike St. Green. Uh, very, very close to the first down there uh, for Jacksonville. The second and short upcoming now for the Kings. Offset single back for Jacksonville. That's Jared Willis in the backfield. Quick draw, pass, near side. That one's hauled did and good enough for a first down by Grayson Willis. More consistency there out of Christian Christensen. You'd love to see it if you're a fan of Jacksonville. Dump off, Willis on the far side. That one's hauled in and good for four yards. Aaron Alexander, they're going to hurry up again to the line. Absolutely. I think it's a good, good decision here from Jacksonville. Try and score as quickly as possible. Another quick out run. Finds Willis, or excuse me, Grayson Willis. Both Willis's combining here on this drive. It's third and short upcoming now. Another quick dump off. Jared Willis has it. He sneaks away from a tackle, shoves a man, and walks out of bounds at the 48 and a first down. Yep. Jacksonville with this hurry up is absolutely pushing Vancouver on the back foot here as they push into Vancouver territory. Does Jacksonville. Here comes the Jacksonville offense. Want to remind everyone that Anthony Cece missed from 53 from the same direction early on in this football game. So they're going to have to maybe move it a little closer if they want to get one in as Christian Christian gets sacked by Stanley Hudson for a loss of four. Yeah, that's sack number two there for Vancouver. Another quick drop. Pressure coming again. Hit as he throws. And it falls incomplete as the Greek nightmare. Achilles Papatonis was closing in. Yeah, Vancouver has absolutely turned up the pressure this game, this uh, this drive now after that uh, key first down from Jacksonville. We may see this one go into overtime, folks. As here comes the Kings. Bump coverage on the outside by the corners. Third and 14 here from the Kings. Five-step drop. Pressure coming. Gets it away. Deflected in the air. And it falls incomplete. Kevin Brackett was the one to get his hands on it. And it's fourth down. It's a big deflection there from Vancouver to bring up this fourth down. Only 45 seconds left on the clock here. We'll see if they decide to go for it, if they're going to put the game in the hands of Anthony Cece. Or they'll punt. They're going to go ahead and try and play field position. Howard McCoy needs a big-time punt this time around. Dean Maddox hauls it in. Jukes pass one. One man will be tackled at the 19. So now the Vancouver Legion, with 37 seconds remaining here in regulation, need a big drive from their experienced quarterback. Absolutely. Vancouver needs to definitely have one of those short explosive drives like they had earlier in the game to tie this one up. I close this one out, I mean. Punch set. Far side. 
Quick drop, out route, near side. This hauled in for a good gain of eight. And they'll immediately call a timeout as Dan Daly was the one who picked up the reception. Big pickup there from, from Dan Daly, this uh, first pass there. And smart of Vancouver, I think, to go ahead and burn a timeout here instead of trying to force the issue with the hurry up. Pepper's going to go under center again. Three wide outs, two, two to his right, one to his left, and Robert Redford in the backfield. Five-step drop, finds his man on the out route near side as hauling in and will be Andy Hamilton for one of his first reception, indeed his first reception of the ball game. Absolutely. Vancouver now starting to play this short, consistent small ball that Jackson's unprepared for. Uh, and, of course, that key step out of bounds from Andy Hamilton to stop the clock for Vancouver. Now Pepper is going to be all alone in the backfield. Trips to his right and one wide receiver off to his left. 29 seconds left to go. And Vancouver has two timeouts. Pass over the middle. Deflected intended for Kendra Hall. Great coverage by Rain Rowe. And unfortunately for Hunter Norwood, that's going to do it for his football game here today. He'll be back next week in their pivotal uh, Week 12 matchup. Absolutely. That's disappointing there to see if you're a fan of Jacksonville. But that was big coverage from them uh, on Kendra in order to keep them in this game. Three wide outs to Tom Pepper's left is under center. Dump off on the screen play to Robert Redford on the far side. He's taken down after a gain of four. And... Vancouver is going to use their second timeout with 20 seconds to go. Absolutely. This is a very pivotal third down here for Vancouver. Uh, currently deep in their own territory. Needs to either come up with something big here uh, or this game's going into overtime. Pepper goes back to the gun. Three wide to his left, one to his right. They have not converted... Too many third downs. They need to convert one here on a deep pass over the middle. Deflected. And that one's going to fall incomplete. And so with 16 seconds to go, they're going to have to punt it away. And we may be looking at overtime. Oh, my goodness. Some very, very key coverage there from Jacksonville in order to force this four and out. Or three and out, excuse me. But uh, it'll be interesting to see here if Vancouver, with only a few seconds left, decides to go for it here or if they're just going to punt it away and take their chances. And he is the league leader in interceptions in this season with 13. So very unlike him to drop that interception. But it's all the same as Vancouver will have to punt this one away. Jacksonville has all three timeouts, and Mike St. Green will get his return started about the 22-yard line. He takes it to the 29. Seven seconds to go. You have three timeouts. Maybe enough for two plays here, Aaron. Absolutely. Jacksonville, I think, is either going to do one of two things. They're either going to go deep and try and win the game immediately, or they're just going to run the clock out and try and finish things in overtime. We'll see what they do. Coverage backs off on the outside. Three wideouts, two backs in the backfield. Here for Jacksonville. Quick drop here from Christensen. Fires over the middle. That one is dropped over the middle by Ken Gossett. Three seconds left to go. And it looks like Gossett had that in his hands. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a good hit there from Vancouver to make that fall incomplete. So now there is 71 yards to pay dirt. More than likely going to see one more play for the end of regulation. Quick drop again from Christensen. Pass over the middle. This time Gossett hauls it in. He's taken down at the 49. And Aaron, for your first call, we're going to overtime. What a game to have my first call on on the analyst desk. Oh my goodness. Get your fives up in chat. We are headed to OT. Here between Vancouver and Jacksonville, tied up at 37 apiece. And I want to remind everyone watching that it's first score wins, whether it be field goal or touchdown, no matter who gets the ball first. 
So crucially, the home team, the Vancouver Legion, will start off by receiving the opening kickoff of overtime. Absolutely. I'll ask you this, Tyler. Do you have any predictions on how this game's going to end? Oh, it's going to be a tight one. I'd like to see a long touchdown run either by Robert Redford or Jared Willis, but that's just me. We'll see what happens as overtime gets rolling here in this one. Dean Maddox gets his return started from his own end zone. Breaks away from one tackler and is taken down at the 23-yard line. Now, crucially, at the end of that first uh, fourth quarter there, Aaron, we mentioned that Hunter Norwood, the man with a couple of sacks on the day, is out for the rest of the football game. That could hinder their chances of getting in the backfield. Absolutely. We'll have to see if uh, the rookie AG Penny Packer can pick up the slack that Hunter Norwood's going to leave behind. Well, a rookie when it comes to sacks, he has two today and on his career, second season in the league as Redford gets the call up the middle. Look at the stat line, over 232 rushing yards compared to Gerald Willis's 15. Yeah, unfortunately, going to get stopped on this one by Taquan Hale. And also a hat trick of rushing touchdowns in the game for Mr. Robert Redford. Second and nine from their own 24 here in overtime. Pepper back to pass, finds his target over the middle. That's good enough for a first down to the 42. And it's Kendra Hall, the co-host, who picks up the first. It's a good route from Kendra there. Some good eyes from uh, Tom Pepper there as well to just stick that ball right in the hands of Kendra. Absolutely beautiful connection there from those two. Kendra Hall getting closer and closer to 150 yards in this football game, Brett Killian has already surpassed that mark. So a good day in the air again for Tom Pepper. Over 400 passing yards, and that's why the Legion are the number one passing team in terms of yards. Play action for Pepper. Deep ball down the field. Somehow cut by Brett Killian, and that's inside field goal range, crucially. That's an absolutely monster catch there from Brett Killian. I believe that's going to push him to 200 yards on the game uh, and absolutely pivotal to put Vancouver into field goal range and potentially push this game away. We'll see if they elect to maybe get closer to the end zone. Indeed, they will. Here comes Tom Pepper and company looking to give Ramon Rakowski maybe a few more yards to play with. He's in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Back to pass. Dumps it near side of the out route. That's hauled in for a good gain of nine, and they're at the 18. That's going to push Tom Pepper on the cusp of hitting 450 passing yards this game. Second and short. Definitely inside field goal range now. We'll see what happens. As Tom Pepper trots out on the field again in the single back ace formation. Handoff up the middle for Robert Redford. Sneaks away from a couple. Picks up the first down to the 13-yard line. Robert Redford has been an absolute machine running this football. Going through at least three different defenders there. Uh, pushing him to approaching 250 yards on the ground of this game. Still no sign of Rakowski on trust the offense again. Bump coverage on the near side of the formation. Play action pass. Pepper out route near side is maybe a little bit too far for Brett Killian as he'll make the catch on the out of bounds line and it's incomplete. Yeah, at this point I definitely question the decision by Vancouver to not just kick the field goal here and win this ball game. We'll see what they do here on second down. Shotgun formation. Four wide receivers out in the formation. Pepper back to pass. All slants over the middle, and it falls incomplete as Andy Hamilton almost had the reception, and it's third down. And I think this is going to prove to be a pivotal third down here for Vancouver. Uh realistically you think you'd see the field goal team now after an incomplete pass like that uh but they could stick with their guns and stick with tom pepper here vancouver is five of 12 on third down 
definitely something that needs to change if they want to put six up on the board to win the football game. Four wide outs, trips far side. Quick drop from Pepper. Over the middle. Bertillion, touchdown, Ooh. Vancouver. Vancouver walking off at home to go to seven and four. Absolutely gutsy play calling there for Vancouver. Brett Killian uh, hauling in only his first touchdown pass this game, and it's a walk-off in overtime. And that will be that as the Legion take the lead in the series 4-3 to three and have beaten Jacksonville twice this season. And just a phenomenal game. It went back and forth. What a game, Aaron, especially for your first call. Absolutely. Vancouver, 700 total yards this game. Uh, just about. Jacksonville had only about half of that and managed to keep this game close. Robert Redford, as we see here on the first highlight, a 50-yard, over a 50-yard run there to begin the series there for Vancouver early on in the third quarter. He had a monster game, over 200 yards, a hat trick of touchdowns in the first half alone. Absolutely, and I think that was the biggest key here to Vancouver's win uh, was how explosive Robert Redford was uh, on the ground for them. But we cannot forget defense wins championships. And we saw Kyler Murray come up with a big interception in the third half. Or excuse me, not the third half, the third quarter. Uh, yes, we're, I mean, it's, I guess we could consider overtime being in the third half, but instead it was the third quarter as just a tremendous day all around from every single player out on the football field. Uh, Brett Killian, we mentioned over 200 yards, receiving Kendra Hall over 130. And uh, James Walters came up with a big touchdown in the second half as well. And just all around, you know, Tom Pepper was able to find his target for the most part. He had two touchdowns in the day, did have three interceptions, and that's what kept this game close. Absolutely. Definitely not only those three interceptions, uh, but also the safety from Jacksonville uh, definitely kept it close uh, I think the only uh, potential blight spot, blight spot uh, that Jacksonville may be kicking themselves about is uh, Anthony CC's first career field goal miss from a long ways away uh, 50, from 53 yards indeed Aaron yeah, and then, of course, Vancouver, uh, their defense really stepped up there uh, in the fourth, forcing Jacksonville to punts in all of their last four drives uh, did Vancouver on Jacksonville. It's something that I think Jacksonville will be picking themselves will be for not getting Jared Willis going. Only 13 yards today on the ground for the halfback as Robert Redford, unsurprisingly, gets player of the game honors with three touchdowns on 24 attempts. An absolutely fantastic day from the running back. And so for Mark Lopez in the stats truck and Cameron Irvine back at SFL HQ, and for my partner this evening, Aaron Alexander, I've been Tyler Falk. Thank you so much for joining us here in Vancouver. This has been a presentation of the SFL, and we'll catch you next time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen.